Hi, everybody. We are so excited about what we discovered concerning Henry Matisse and 2023 home decor trends. Now, be sure and wait till the end because we want to also tell y'all about this picture that we've painted that inspired us by Matisse. He inspired us. So first, let's check out those trends. Trending 2023 home decor. Let's talk about his color. It is current today as it was a hundred years ago. He depicts color and pattern and movement in the lead for Home Decor 2023 in all of his works. And we are inspired and you will be inspired no matter what taste you may have in Home Decor. Red. It evokes energy and stimulates a room for social interaction. However, you want to combine these with a neutral base. These are great ideas for graphic patterns and lightwood floors, according to New Decor Trends. Matisse loved a true blue or cobalt blue. It's energizing and has you thinking clearly and focused. A lot of people use it in their home offices, according to Powell's contributor, Karen Egley Thompson. 2023, just like 2022, there's going to be the love of nature and natural elements in the colors of your interior, such as the blue we've been discussing. And it will bring in and express nature, cleanliness of environmental friendliness, according to Indecor Trends. Creativity takes courage. That's what Matisse said, and he loved patterns. He was influenced with his travels and through textiles on his pattern. Matisse, interior pattern play. According to his biographer, he came from a long line of weavers and spent a lot of his childhood around textiles. He had a collection of fabrics which he referred to as his working library and it had textiles and Persian carpet swatches that he would take him from studio to studio. When we checked out 2023 Instagrammables, what we found in Trend Design Book was mural background walls for excellent backdrops with pattern geometric floors. These are similar images that we can find in Matisse's work. Matisse's caring of patterns shown in this interior flower and parakeet painting. I've learned to combine pattern by scale, small, medium, and large, with a common denominator of at least one color in all of the patterns. And you mix the pattern scales or sizes in pillows, drapes, rugs, and upholstery. In 2023, the pairing of patterns and prints are out of this world. Here we're depicting the Fungi Italian for Mushroom Decor 2023, and it's iconic with the vintage 1970s revival of whimsy applied with shapes and patterns and prints, according to the Trend Design book. We'll also be looking at bold wallpaper, flowers, vegetation, birds, and forest animals will steal our hearts and we'll have a lot to choose from in any color palette we may like, 
according to the new Depart Trends. I'm sure everybody's familiar with the Matisse cutouts. Visually vibrant and conceptually radical body of works, according to a curator from the Museum of Modern Arts. Home Decor 2023 is going to go mad for Matisse when it comes to geometrics and abstract work. With muted or bold colors, these feature organic and abstract shapes of your choosing. And we're going to be having a revisited Art Deco style 2023 using these shapes. But look at the comparison. The snail Matisse 1953 is cutouts, paper collage together that have been painted in gouache. And in comparison, we see the decor on your left. We'll also be seeing a calming trend in 2023, which links together organic and cozy materials. And the item on the left looks just like Matisse's cutouts. And on the right, we have a tapestry of geometric shapes. According to a designer contributing with home textile, we're going to have indulgence in pastels 2023. And Matisse has certainly gone pastel because you can even get these pastel prints off of Amazon. This is one of our favorite finds from Maison Matisse. A joyful aesthetic from Christina Celestina from Italy and Italian bark interior design firm is calling this a new trend of number three inspired by Matisse is called happiness and conviviality that's a mouthful but it is cheerful and it looks just like Matisse. He would love to see these retro inspired shapes and since we are no longer in the isolation from 2020 we're wanting to have some fun in our home. We've seen line art become more popular over the past few years and Matisse would use ink drawings later in life when painting became a struggle due to his physical being. In this painting, we're looking at the tree by Matisse in 1951. And in 2023, the tactile design trend will continue with focuses on natural wood, stone, wool, linen, and the fewer imitations, the better, according to your new decor trends. It's the tactile perception. The old is new again in the comfort of our homes. Inspired from fans 100 years ago, Matisse, Portraits and Faces in Home Decor. There's the lady in the blue hat and Lorette with turban and yellow vest. This is hands down one of our favorites, the Bricardi style 2023. It's the new country style, timeless. Farmhouse table, sideboards, caned chairs, elegant accessories. Everything tells a story, including the art and furniture of the avant-garde period as showcased here. Matisse painted still lives, mainly in his earlier years, and he used bold colors and patterns, expressive brush strokes to create movement and emotion. Matisse wanted to evoke happiness in these paintings and wanted you to be able to sink into them, comfy and cozy at the end of the day, like you would 
in your favorite chair. One of our favorite finds when doing this for y'all on the research of the decor 2023 was when we were looking at this still life with sleeping woman 1940 Henry Matisse and then we found a rendition of it in trend design book she's just pared down a hundred years later as we're back to entertaining in our homes this Instagrammable lounge trend is very popular so there you have it. A lot going on with Matisse in our home decor. And with our painting for the workshop, if you live in the central Louisiana area, we will be having a workshop four hours, July the 16th from one to five at Van Gogh's and Distributors in Pineville, Louisiana. We would love to have you join us. We're learning how to decoupage, how to paint over stencils, how to create patina and depth, and it's so much more. Please check out the links below should you be interested, and we'll see you in our next video. Hope you enjoyed our show today. Be sure and leave a comment, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. We love hearing from you.